Hello again, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and this is the Bible Talk video blog. Today's blog entry is entitled, The Virtual God. Well, Time Magazine once published a section devoted to the newest computer products. And as I leafed through the gadgets and gizmos, I realized that the world and its technology was getting just a little beyond my grasp. It seemed that all of the decades advances that I so brashly accepted at one time when I was younger were getting harder and harder to keep up with. This discomfort led me to think about the effect that all of this new technology would have on my faith, and I took courage in the following ideas. First of all, God is the source of knowledge. We know about that in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. You see, the one who created all things knows the potential of all things. We should see knowledge and the technology that comes from it as a blessing from God, a further insight into the wonder, complexity, and development of His initial design. Secondly, proper use is the key. The key in managing new discoveries is to find the usage that is in harmony with the rest of creation and God's will. With every advancement, there is always the possibility of abuse, but this has always been the challenge and responsibility for beings who have been given free will. And then finally, Jesus adapts. I learn about that in Colossians chapter 3, verse 16. You see, technology becomes outdated, but Jesus Christ remains. He has outlasted every bold new world for the simple reason that He is the Lord of creation. This means that Jesus is the Lord of the internet and any other frontier that God will allow man to reach. You know, I'm still working on my ability to use today's technology. However, my simple faith in Jesus Christ will lead me beyond the virtual reality of this world to the final reality of heaven that will never change and where keeping up will no longer be a problem. Well, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and you've been watching the Bible Talk video blog. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.